Alright guys, welcome back to another episode with No Name Trapper. Okay, so it's been a couple days, we haven't caught squat. Uh, we're getting ready to go sell a bunch of fur. The last good day we had was the two coyote day. Um, so, that's been good, I caught up skinning, so today we're going to go sell fur. Checked the line this morning, didn't catch anything until now, but uh, anyways, also seen a bobcat chase a deer across the road. I wish I could have caught it on film, guys. It was crazy. That that bobcat had to have caught that deer down in the bottom they ran into. He was uh, gaining. So, anyways, this is the first catch of the day, and then we're going to run and sell fur. Well, guys, obviously not what I had in mind here. You know, I was thinking blind set for a coyote. A lot of stuff's come through here. Let's get a good look at it. It's got some breakup on the back. That's all right. There's too many raccoon this season. Uh, not enough trappers in the... The damage they're doing and the distemper running through, we're going to go ahead and take them anyways. So, um, it's just the humane thing to do. I've seen too many coon die this year from distemper. We're going to help them out. This will be uh, down this section, a little road for the farmer. This will be the, uh, I think, third raccoon, and we've taken one coyote back here. We haven't trapped back here too much just because of the weather didn't want to tear up the road but anyways first catch only catch today let's get rolling all right guys so here's our coon we're selling today that's 52 frozen flat coon so 52 of them we're selling today last time we sold 119 and we had some thrown out and remember we entered the tournament that's where we are up to 208 coon this season so there's 52 back here Got to go get the coyotes and muskrat and mink and skunks now. I misspoke, guys. That's 54 coon. 54 that we're selling today. One we caught today. And now we're loading up the coyote and the other stuff. All right, guys. Here's what we're selling today. 54 coon, 13 coyote, one bobcat, uh, six muskrat, three mink, four whole carcass skunks, Here's some of that stuff. It's bagged up. And I got some glands in that cooler there. But anyways, guys, the rest of my coyotes that aren't here are getting tanned. Or some of them, you know, just weren't good. And then I, I due to time management being kind of poor, I had a few go green belly on me. But uh, nonetheless, that's what we're selling today. Wish you all luck. And I hope I make a little money today. Hey guys, uh, so sold fur last night, drove back in a blizzard, that was fun. Had a good time though talking with some friends and, and uh, we're back on the trap line today. So the first spot we checked today, I had footholds there and I went to put a snare in the other day and I thought, ah, season's almost over, no point. Yeah, I should have because a bobcat and a coyote went through that trail and those footholds were froze down. If I had had a snare there, I'd have caught either one of those, but we missed them. So here's the next spot that's disappointing. Next location that's disappointing is you see there were actually multiple coyotes here. There, there were about two or three, but one ran down this trail, and we missed. And uh, I had a foothold here early, and we caught a coon, and the snare wasn't blended in very well, and I just flat out missed a coyote there. Now the good news is, is there was multiple coyotes here. There might be one, you know, move through here tonight or tomorrow, uh, but. I've got snares on the next road, which just is out of the scene here. So even if we missed them here, maybe they crossed the next road and we caught them there. We'll see. But basically just some stupid misses. You know, I was tied up getting my fur ready and and uh, just poor time management. But let's get going. That's what's going on this morning. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, we didn't catch anything today. They didn't, those coyotes didn't go the way I anticipated. And, uh, you know, season's almost over. I'm burnt out. Um, just ready to move on, take what I learned from this season, apply it to next. But we've got traps out for another, what, I think two days. So we'll see if we get something. Hopefully we catch coyote number 30, and uh, that's kind of where we're at. So I'm home. It's Sunday. Start back to work tomorrow, and we'll get back on the line after work. Hey guys, checking traps after work. Check out how close we came with this blind set. 
And what happened is they actually came around. You can see there's coyote tracks. Came around this way. Around here. Stepped right in there. Sniffed probably either my trap or that um, that clump of grass. It's got, you know, coyote stuff from uh, the previous two coyotes. Stepped right there, backed up. Went back around. I don't know if you guys see that very well. Went back around and then crossed the fence back where he came from. Going back that way. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, that's the kind of stuff next year. I'll just put in another foothold and surprise them. But uh, season's about over. So, anyways, just thought that was interesting. I learned from that. Caught multiple coyotes here, and clearly at some point uh, they started smelling the foothold kind of flagging it and just staying off you know not stepping on it so uh, next season what we'll do is we'll just put in another blind set you know a fresh trap somewhere around here because they've been walking all over this since I caught the last coyote at this spot hey guys pardon the poor lighting uh, but it's the final day of season we're pulling traps just about done um, put a 220 in here just the other day in case an otter crossed since I forgot to trap for otter primarily till the end of the season. But nonetheless, it's not an otter, but we got a nice big coon and he ain't rubbed, which is pretty surprising. So anyways, pretty excited to have something on the final day, even if it is just a, another raccoon. It'd be number 209 or 210 this season, I believe. Well guys, that's a wrap. For the regular season, that's it. Caught one raccoon today and, uh, you know, it was probably one of the toughest seasons I've ever been through. The weather was just all over the place. I mean, I've seen a lot of you guys across the country struggling too because of the weather and some of you had great seasons too, but uh, mine was, you know, not planned. Not the way it was supposed to go, but uh, learned a lot, had fun. Uh, hang with us and uh, we'll be beaver trapping here when the ice melts. Tight chains, guys.